What's up, Psych2Go viewers? My name is Dawn. People who are highly emotionally sensitive are often referred to as highly sensitive people or HSPs. While sensitivity is linked to creativity and empathy, sometimes being overly sensitive can be a burden. So in this video, we're going to go over three ways to deal with being overly sensitive. Number one, ask yourself why. During a highly emotional event for you, sometimes it's hard to see why you feel this way because it's so emotional. When things have started to calm down, ask yourself why you feel this way. For example, if you are feeling highly sensitive because someone criticized your work, ask yourself why you feel this sensitive. Perhaps it was because growing up your parents were overly criticizing and you have this ideal to be perfect. Number two, avoid the negative self-talk. Many HSPs are also empathetic. That means they absorb the emotions of the people around them. And this is bad when you're in a high stress environment such as work. Because you're in that high stress environment, you tend to take on those negative emotions and begin to talk negatively about yourself because you have those negative emotions. So be aware of that and quit the negative self-talk. Number three, don't take things personally. Criticism just happens. And sometimes highly sensitive people can take things to heart and take this as a personal attack on them. Instead of doing that, take that advice and use it to improve on your work next time. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. We have other videos, so be sure to check that out and go subscribe, like, and all that stuff. And while you're at it, I also do videos every Friday, so be sure to check my channel out, and I will see you next time. So basically, he's just gonna sit there for one minute without making his mind wander, just being in that moment. So studies do show that people who are present